Diamonds which have not yet been cut are referred to as rough or raw diamonds. To identify whether the stone you can do a quick visual evaluation to rule out other gemstones. From there, you'll want to perform a more precise test with a piece of corundum or an electronic diamond tester. You can also perform a gravity test to determine the specific gravity of the stone, which will tell you whether it is a diamond. Hello uh, everybody, I'm Rashid Hibesho, I'm a gemologist and a scientist. Uh, I will give you some courses about the gemstone. I will show you some very common gemstone in the market and uh, in the uh, Look at this. Uh, this stone is amber. Uh, this is uh, natural amber. It can be yellow brownish to yellow. Yellow fancy is coming from America, and this amber is coming from uh, copal. Is the yellow one is copal, but this one is from uh, Balt. Uh, this stone. Is natural emerald. It uh, uh, about half cara. Uh, the first thing you should do to know gemstone, uh, to know the color, to know gemstone by the color. Uh, and later I will talk to you uh, to explain you some properties, physical and uh, optical uh, properties of gemstone to know it. Uh, I will not make you a gemologist by one course. This is just uh, an introduction. But I promise to you, by the way, and uh, if you try in this channel, you will receive other courses and you will can distinguish between gemstones. This is uh, white uh, opal, natural opal, very beautiful. You can see a uh, rainbow, rainbow, different colors like a rainbow. You can see here this gemstone, this is smoky quartz. Here I have natural lemon quartz. This is a natural ruby <coughs> from Thailand. Uh, this stone is about two thousand dollar. It's from Thailand. Of course, it's heated. It's maybe one carat and some points. Uh, the same, not heated from Burma, can be five thousand dollar. You can see this gemstone very clear, very beautiful, very nice. This is a crystal, polished, and. This gemstone is amethyst, natural amethyst. Uh, amethyst is a variety of crystal, uh, but the amethyst of, 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 of the family of mineral quartz, uh, and it's known as the most expensive variety of quartz. can see also this gemstone this natural gemstone this is blue amethyst this is a green amethyst very beautiful nice piece this is a peridot into this gemstone, we can see some little bit small inclusions. These inclusions are the pre proof that the stone is natural and not uh, made man. Uh, this gemstone also is called garnet. It's one of similar of ruby. Uh, similar to natural stones that are used in the market as a similar of ruby, adding to garnet is a spinner.
you can see here this variety of quartz also this is this gemstone is a variety of quartz it's called citrine this is topaz blue topaz this is a black opal round ball multi colored finally you can see this stone called moonstone very nice and very beautiful so firstly the first step I you have to learn to distinguish between jeans uh, by their color and after that in the same color we can find many varieties for example a ruby red uh, stone it can be ruby it can be uh, garlic it can be spinning it can be my man ruby it can be plastic so to distinguish between these varieties we use some instruments to can uh, to, 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 dis to, to measure the optical and physical uh, properties. These instruments are, you can see with us here, this instrument is called refractometer. We use it to uh, measure the re reflective uh, uh, angles. So maybe you don't know this meaning of these words, these terms. I'll just give you now an idea. Uh, and by the time I will explain you uh, the interest of uh, the, uh, for what you, we use every instrument and what we measure with and the characteristic of the stone. This instrument we can know if the stone is changing the color by the angle we see the it. This filter ruby, we can use this filter to now do color filter. We have here filter shinsa to see the color filter of ruby. Here, this is to use this diamond selector. We use it to measure the temperature of the stone because in diamond it's liking some metals that it can be conductive and we can measure these properties with using this, uh, this instrument this is color uh, this we use this instrument to now do white by the color for example we can change the parameter the unity for many unities to as we now as you know for stones we white measuring the white by kara this stone is two twenty uh eighty five sorry so this will be the white by kara is one forty Five. This is the, and we also use this. Look, Esam. We use this. This uh, balance of color with this kit of specific gravity steam kit. I will explain you later how we use this. Let me now give you an idea about this unity this unity you can find it in the market between 200 300 400 it's depending to now to, to, to dollar what we do with this uh, kit uh, specific gravity is because to, to know the specific gravity look at this You know the specific gravity? We have to know the white in the water. 
and do the white in the air. So the white in the water, specific gravity is the white in the water. Uh, sorry, the white in the uh, what? The white in the water divided by the white in the air and we get specific gravity. By knowing we have already read this book or we can, you can find the specific gravity of many minerals or gemstone and we compare it to the value that we get with this value and then you can uh, make classification of the mineral. This material is uh, testing hardness of gemstone. I will see you. Uh, I will talk to you later about uh, mouse hardness. Every stone, every mineral have its own hardness. It's starting from one to ten. Uh, every mineral uh, in second line is more hard than the last one. So use this pen. This nine. This is six. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. For the nine, we use it for. Uh, if, uh, you can find also another this uh, kit testing of hardness, starting from one to ten. But in general, in gemstone, we only need for seven, eight, nine because uh, the sum, the, the most of them are uh, most than ten, uh, seven uh, in mass hardness. This instrument is spectroscope we know that every gemstone is absorbing a spectrum and when I use this gemstone for example this is the ruby come come no come to see as you should know. هادشي <تصفيق> 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 So we know before uh, that every gemstone is absorbing one spectrum. And when you use this instrument, for example, if the ruby is absorbing the red, then when we use the spectroscope, we don't see the, the, the red color, then we know that uh, that is the ruby. شوف هنا واش غيبان الالوان ديال الكاميرا لا جيت الكاميرا يقدر يبان ويقدر شوف هنا شوف سير سير ها هو كيبان شتي هما الالوان هاو سير رينبا اند وي يوز دو سبيكتروسكوب سام كارا سو ذيس از ا جينيرال كورس بات باي ذا واي اي Gemstone, and I will also explain to you how to use every uh, instrument to inspect and to detect that properties. Don't uh, forget to click share and subscribe. See you soon. Thanks very much.